Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Behind me, you're gonna see the DB9. She's a 2010, 172 foot Palmer Johnson that was retrofit in 2020. She's centrally listed by Yacht Partners International. Peter Thompson and Abdul Nadar will have their contact information below. My VIP clients, feel free to contact me directly. Hey guys, this is Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. Abdullah Nahar, uh, Yachting Partners International. Okay, so today we're on board the 172 Palmer Johnson, the DB9. I'm gonna flip the camera around, we're gonna take a quick walk through the boat. Okay, so we're here in the, uh, the main cockpit area of the boat. Can you maybe describe what we're looking at? Um, so this is the main deck aft uh, area, uh, where you see a lot of uh, lounging and seating areas that you have. Um, Back there, you would see the uh, one of the the three pools that we have. This is the uh, ja uh, the jacuzzi. Okay. Um, it has a hydraulic. Yes, yeah. it's an infinity uh, jacuzzi. It's got the um, a hydraulic platform which uh, closes uh, and opens. Um. Does it have a garage on it as well? Down there. No, this doesn't have the garage. Okay. From here, uh, doesn't have the garage access. So, um, and then that shade retracts back and forth, right? That's correct. Okay. So we can go ahead and go in the main salon. Okay. So moving forward, um, this is the main salon area. And you were saying they redecorated this area? This they whole area has been re redecorated, by, redecorated by the current owners. Um, all the furniture is uh, brand new. Um, the dining room, dining area here is, is brand new. Um, that bar over there that you see, it also has been built by the current owners. Is that like a onyx? It's an onyx, um, yes, it's an onyx marble. Onyx, okay. Um, and uh, gives you a beautiful view from here. Um, nice, yeah, and then this really goes up here. Very nice thing to get the channel there. So cool. Can we see the owner's stateroom? Absolutely. Sweet. Okay, so it's right. down to the owners. Okay, so we're down here in the uh, master stateroom. You you said they redecorated this area. So well? this hall has been redecorated. You have a built-in sofa um, on the starboard side, and what you have also the um, all the the built-in um, wardrobe space okay. um, is brand new. And uh, moving this way, you see a walk-in uh, wardrobe area. Okay. Nice. Great use of space, and then over here on the uh, starboard side, we've got uh, really nice windows, and then uh, the tub here. It's great access. Did they remodel this, or this was more original to the boat? This was this was original to the boat, okay. um, and uh, it's been uh, just well kept. Yeah, nice. Um, uh, let's head up to her to the uh, guest cabins. Sure. Can we? we can go back uh, exactly where we came from. Four guest cabins. You get a little foyer area here. Is there a washer dryer there? It's or uh, storage. Just, just okay. storage area. The washer and dryer. It's um, with the uh, with the crew. With the crew area in the crew area in the mess. Okay. So we've got uh, matching the state rooms here, right? That's right. Yeah, they marry one another. 
So up front, two singles. This is the matching stateroom as well. Everything has an ensuite head. So you were saying primarily private use um, since the current owners had it. Yes, absolutely. So it's okay. mostly private use, um, minimal charters uh, on board. Um, okay. And it, did they redo this area? Um, they've just added their own touches uh, okay. in, in, in throughout the whole boat, really. Okay. Um, so decoration touches, decoration, everything fresh. Yeah. So let's go up to the uh, bow, and then um, we'll do the bow and then the flybridge. You're saying this is a day head? Here? This is a day head. So you have a, the pool area here, I, I believe it's about 8 meters uh, and um, you can fill it up with salt water um, within a few minutes, 10 to 15 minutes um, and then um, otherwise if you'd like fresh water I believe it takes about a couple of hours, 3 hours to fill it up. Okay. And then you were showing me this is where the main uh, davit system is in the middle. That's right. Okay. Uh, where these uh, units open hydraulically. Um, and uh, you have all storage space, you have the crane area over there. Um, below the sun beds, uh, you'll find the, uh, the jet skis. Okay, so you've got matching jet skis on either side. That's right. And then in the pool area, when the pool's not filled, the dinghy can go in here. Exactly. Okay. Oh, there it is? Okay. Also been recently repainted. Okay. Service. Cool, let me get a shot of it right here. You have jet skis? Okay. Wow. And over here, the upper deck, sun deck area. This can this area can turn into um, a cinema, uh, where you put the projector screen up top over here. You hang them on these uh, rods. Okay. And uh, you'll be able to. Oh, you can lounge here, and then you can it lounge in this area. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. And then you were saying over here on the starboard, this is a. Uh, this is like a there's a sink, a yeah, wet bar. And it has a, the, you can do barbecues and then the sink area over here. Okay. It's got the fridges. <laughs> and at center line, we've got the jacuzzi. You got the jacuzzi here. So this is considered as the third pool, uh, which is the uh, second jacuzzi. Um, and then more just lounging area uh, and space. And then can you tell me about the wind station? Um, so this is the captain's favorite uh, tool um, and it expands, it closes, so for easier um, navigation from up top. So you can really see how big the boat is here and having wing stations on both sides that really makes it a lot easier. And how many crew do you normally run with? Um, I believe at the moment they run with 11 crew. Okay. Nice.
so these are MTU 4,613 horsepower, is that right? No, 4,500. 4, 4,500, okay. 7,000 kilo ones. Okay. Cool. And then is it a, is it direct drive or is it jet? No, direct drive. And you can get up to 30 knots? 32. 32 knots. Wow. That's crazy. Three main generators. Okay. Gyro stabilizers in the middle. So you have three three generators. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay. And gyro stabilizers here in the center. Okay. And the gyro was original? It was factory yes, installed. Yes. Okay. Wow. Two of them. That's all. Two. Yeah, one there. How often do you have to service those? Every year? Yeah, we keep maintaining every year, but the bearings have been changed. Okay. It doesn't get the Okay. And then you get a ship control system here? Yep. Okay. All the electric control system, including the generator, the parallel. Okay. Synchronize them, synchronize the show power. How have you found the electronics on it? Pretty easy, pretty yeah. good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is very, it has an automatic mode and this is all the manual mode. Okay. All these levers and switches are if you are to do it manually. Yeah. But if not, you just do it automatically from the, from the control unit. Okay. Great. Now this is perfect. Thank you. Short power converter. Okay, so it can plug in anywhere with the short power converter. Yeah. Okay. So then you have... So as you know, this boat uh, can go up to 32 um, knots. Okay. Um, which is very fast. And um, so the cruise speed and you around 20 knots? About 25 okay. uh, cruise speed. And she's just stunning once you're out in, in, in rough seas. Mm -hmm. um, you really don't feel a thing, so. And this is nice also because the uh, captain has a full beam suite. That's right, so right we can go uh, down this way. Where we can show you. Watch your head. Uh, down this way to the right. Oh, that's the captain's quarters. Cool. That's the captain. Yeah. He's got his personal stuff, so too much. But awesome. And then down these stairs is the crew mess and crew floor. And galley. Okay. Great. On behalf of Dennis and Yachting, uh, Yachting Partners International. Thanks for checking out the DV9, the 2010 retrofit and 2020 172 foot Palmer Johnson. If you're in the market for a boat like this, so please feel free to reach out directly to Yacht Partners International or my VIP buyers can contact me directly. Thanks again. Let us know your thoughts and comments.